Hey, Zoomsters, have you ever just played a normal match of Zuba and then a level 20 maxed out character just swoops in and absolutely destroys you with the maxed out fur mode and muscles and any other special item that you can possibly think of? Well, today we are going to become that player for a day here. And look at this. Everyone here is maxed out level 20 with all the special items imaginable. And what does a person that has all the characters like this, you know, and is super, super annoying to find in game? do on a daily basis well you can only imagine they enter the game and then they look for a character and instead of actually picking the best character possible like i don't know finn for example he's really good or henry you know the good ones he probably uses the wheel of characters because everyone is maxed out to begin with so let's do it now in this wheel we have literally everyone so it could be any character here and let's see who we get right now and who's gonna be super super overpowered and we have Betsy! Now that's a good one. And hey, look at that. We also have quite a lot of trophies here to make things a little bit more difficult, of course. So let's change the skin here to something a little bit better. Here we got the mad scientist. Very nice. I want to mention that we're on a beta testing version of the game, so just keep that in mind for now. And look at that. Our shirt here in the video literally matches Betsy's fur color. Now that we're literally Betsy today. So let's go on over to the items. Now, what does the most annoying player ever that's maxed out use? Fermal essence and muscles on the top of the priority list up next vampire teeth we also have jungle shoes and last but not least we go for some turbo rockets this is the combo of all time okay maybe an adrenaline shot would work as well but this works for now and hey look at that we got the we got the league seven well that is uh inaccurate to say the least <laughs> all right come on get me out of here Release me! All right, now let's go for some solo light and just torment some players. Let's go! All right, and we just spawned on the lava. Okay, that is not it. And let's grab some weapons as fast as possible. So what does the level 20 maxed out player do? Well, first of all... <laughs> come on, just grab the thing already! And he goes and finds you. Yes, you. And absolutely obliterates you. Like this. Hey, look at that. Another level 20. That's cool. All right. I mean, to make things actually work, of course, we're going to be facing level 20s today. Because, come on. I mean, this, this has to be just a little bit challenging. You know, we're not just going to go around and destroy level 1s all over the place. Because that's boring. This is what we need. This is more of a challenge. And we love to see this sort of stuff. All right. I see you. There you go. Come on. Come on, you're right there, buddy. There you go. And there you have it almost. Okay, he just walked straight into it right there. Very good. And while we have the opportunity to get ourselves some free HP, how about we actually use that? And there you go. That's good. So, one more time. And there you go. This is it right here. And there are six enemies left. And we lose five trophies. So, for now... So things are looking pretty rough here at Grandmaster 5, it seems. All right, and boom. Oh, that was an entire spear from the sky. That's crazy. And it didn't one-shot the Donna. Look, this is insane. Uh, hey, wait a second. Can we do the knockback thingy right here? Or is this going to work? Hey, wait a second. Donna, do not try to escape. Oh, she died from the primal instinct because it is actually good on Betsy, believe it or not. Nice. All right, let's go. Let's see what we can do here. I hope there's no one hiding in the bushes. Oh, well, well, well. Looks like someone has some horrible aim. <laughs> oh, oh, that was close. All right, Henry. I see you right there. And the walls are really going to help us. And my guy is going in the fire. My guy does not know what he's doing. That's for sure. Wow. Embarrassing. All right, and there you go. We just got the win right there. Cool stuff. Cool stuff, to say the least. And there you have it. I wish this game had emotes. Like, just... Just emotes. You can stand somewhere on the map, just equip it, and then the character will start dancing or something. Can't be that difficult. Alright, so, let's go change things up a little bit. We did the random character, and now we're not gonna do the random character again. Let's actually go for the most insane combo ever. And what I find to be the most insane combo ever is actually Duke here at level 20 with all the atoms that you can imagine. Maybe not the firm one, because why would you? Electric Gauntlet, though. That is nice. Vampire teeth give me we also got the maxed out jungle shoes. This is amazing And now last but not least we're gonna go for some sharp sight because it's flashy and now we're also gonna hold on a second Hold on a minute. That's more like it and now he's looking really really good So we are at zero trophies right now. So why not just experiment here and see how this goes? Let's get them! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We got some pretty weak characters, actually. But you know what? <laughs> Try to get as many kills as possible. All right, boom, bam, and bop. 
the, the sharp scythe is useless because if we stun the character, we automatically defeat them too, pretty much. So it's, it's useless to even have the sharp scythe in the first place. Because if you use the sharp scythe, you're preparing yourself for a battle that's actually going to last you for quite a little bit. So if you instantly defeat the character, then there's no reason for that. All right, there you go. And you guys grab the leftovers, whatever. We got to get the main kills. So the thing about Duke and teams is he's really, really good. And we have uh, checked this out on uh, our uh, videos here. There was a video that we very recently did with the most OP team characters. So check that out after this one if you want to. Like, know what, what the best team characters are because that is actually like something important that I teach you in that vid so it is very very important for you guys to know that you know because there are a lot of people who are playing teams all right we're actually huge as well look at that how many kills are we gonna rack up today 12 very good let's get to 20 though 100 and now hey wait a second guys where are you going I mean, there are a few enemies left. I wish we had the binoculars though at the moment. Should have equipped that too. And Duke is huge. Look at him, he's massive. This is crazy. Okay, but the question stands. Oh, there you are. That is three guaranteed kills right there. <laughs> I mean, you know, we could play Grandmaster 5 and stuff, and it would be fair for all the people in the comment section saying that, oh, you should play Grandmaster 5 because it's way too easy and zero trophies. But at the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, <laughs> this was hilarious. We got 17 kills. Which is crazy here. I wanted them to be 20 kills. But you know, this does the job too. It's not the end of the world. So, this is uh, this has been pretty cool so far. And how about we just go for someone else right now? What's, what's the worst character in the game at level 20? So, basically, like the worst character in, ga in the game is somewhere along the lines of Faye or Quinn. Something like that. So, how about we take Faye right now at level 20? Because, believe it or not, guys, I have seen my fair share of level 20 Faye's in the past. D d let's keep this a secret. Why? I don't know. Slime Faye, though, does look cool. It is an objectively good looking skin. So, we're gonna go for the items here and see what we can do. Inflatable muscles, infrared binoculars, double rockets, fermorescence. You know, the average. Everyone can have this item combo, and everyone uses this in every single match ever. So, it's just, uh, it's very, very simple. Actually, hold on a second. Let's go for jungle shoes. That is better because we're not gonna be dying at all in the match. So, is this ridiculous? Yes! Are we gonna do a good job? Probably. Let's go! And guess what we're playing right now? We're playing Deathmatch. Why? Because we can, obviously. <laughs> I mean, there's no one out there playing this game mode. Like, no one is playing this game mode on the internet. In Zuba. No one's doing this. This is a one-in-a-lifetime experience here. With the level 20 Faye. I just, I, I couldn't, I can't imagine how and why are we doing this right now? Like, that's the big question. And hey, Ollie, how's it going? Okay, he looks, uh... Oh, it's the old Ollie. What's up? We shouldn't actually defeat him. We should leave him at that. You know, he's gonna probably die by some other means, unfortunately, but still. Albert, you're actually a very cool person. I'm gonna leave you alone because old Ollie does look objectively better. He looks cuter. All right, there you go. And boom. And oh no, we need medkits, but the medkit button is so tiny. It's as small as a speck of dust. Look at it. Oh, did they have to make it this small? Obviously not. They had no reason to. All right, Albert, your time is... What's with that knockback? Did you see that? Yo, oh, that's crazy. All right, there you go. And now let's use our medkit here. If we can even press the button because it's so tiny. All right, there you go. Boom and bam. And the uh, player is a top predator, obviously. Who did you expect that to be? Buck? You know, probably. Or Henry, you know, because they're assassin characters. And Faye isn't much of an assassin character, is she? No, but Slime Faye looks cool. It kind of camouflages itself in the little in the, in the grass in the background and the bushes in general, you know? Kind of, I guess. Alright, and uh, snipe! We missed! No! Easy. Too easy. It, it's way too easy. All right, we're gonna grab this right now. Right, oh no, the sweats! The sweats are here and they're gonna grab the legendary weapon. I can't believe it. Why did you do that? Alright, Albert, it's your time to shine again. Albert, I'm sorry. Alright, let's go though. And, oh yes, I forgot you can literally see everyone here, but if enemies just keep on coming and again and again there's, there's not much of an incentive to actually look at the binoculars because you're already focused on something You're busy fighting the enemy. There's, there's no reason to look for more enemies, all right? But hey, if, you, if you're kind of cornered and stuff and you're actually in a bad place then fair enough Fair enough. It's useful to know where there are characters that could potentially sandwich you or something Alright, Legendary Guard has spawned, and there you are, look at that beauty! 
Hey, you come here, my friend. And we got the legendary weapon, pretty much. There you go. And you guys are not grabbing it. There you have it. That blast was actually global, by the way. <laughs> because there was a character in front of literally everyone, so that's why. And there you go. We got the victory. And how many kills do we have? Well, that's not bad. All right. This is how it's like to be the level 20 super annoying person in Zuba. All right. Is this a one in a lifetime experience? Maybe if we get to this point somewhere in the near future, that'd be super, super cool. If we could just get tokens more easily, wildlife, please. Uh, this is super, super cool here. Quite an experience to behold right here. So, fellas, <laughs> if you want to see more experimental stuff like this that we haven't really done, just comment down below and I got you. And I'll see you in the next one. So, peace out and have a fantastic day. And bye bye, Zoopsters!